So it's a magnificent morning today and finally we've got a bit of sun so I thought I'd pull out the Sun OK Sun Taste Solar Cooker. Um, although it's nice and blue sky it's actually a bit cool outside still. So you can see here it is 13.5 degrees outside at the moment supposed to get up to about 15 or 16 degrees today so I thought it might be a good one just to have a bit of a, a look at how long it actually takes for the solar cooker to heat up and uh, if we have a bit of a look I've got a bit of a dial in here so that we can measure the temperature throughout the day currently not even registering yet so below 50 degrees Celsius so what I'll probably do is pop out uh, every so often and we'll see how that temperature increases. So I thought I'd share a little bit about how I've actually set up my uh, solar oven. As you can see, it's sitting here up on a wine barrel on my deck. I find this is quite handy because I can just spin the cooker around to chase the sun. In terms of the, uh, the chasing of the sun, I find a really good trick is just to kind of put your hand next to the cooker underneath and you can see there's a bit of shading there which means I haven't quite got it oriented correctly so what I'm going to do is just spin this around a bit and then I can recheck you can see that's looking a bit better now just needs a little bit more orientation towards the sun and that's now pretty much perfect in fact sometimes it can be handy just to have it a little bit facing off because of course the sun's going to keep moving and that way as the sun's moving you know you're not going to have to come back and reposition the cooker every five minutes which can be a bit frustrating um, the other thing just to look for is the orientation of your mirror so with this one here what I've found is uh, you just kind of look for where the light's moving in your cooker. So you can see as I move this down and up, if you look in the uh, cooker itself, you can see how the, the light is refracting into the actual cooker. And you don't want to go too far because you can see how the uh, light just moved outside of the uh, cooker then. So what I want to do is kind of find a bit of a sweet spot where it's kind of sitting on that front mirror. So let's see if I can find that position. A bit tricky one-handed. There we go. That's looking pretty perfect there now. So uh, with these, you do have to come out every so often. Just kind of check that position of the sun. Uh, obviously, as it moves across the sky, uh, it's going to change position. And the better your orientation is, the better your temperatures are going to get. 20 minutes has now passed and it's now 14.8 degrees Celsius outside. And we can see that the temperature in the oven is increasing and it's looking a about probably 60 degrees Celsius out in the uh, oven after about 20 minutes now. Now obviously this oven is actually empty so it will perform a bit different empty versus full. Um, I tend to find it holds temperature a lot better and uh, depending on obviously the heat of what you put inside of it at the start um, it can heat up a bit quicker or even a bit slower if you put something in that uh, you know might be really cold out of the fridge or, uh, or even frozen obviously that's going to cool down the temperature inside but uh, you can see here with nothing in it today the uh, temperature is rising quite quickly in this good sun. What I do need to do though is just reposition the oven so I haven't moved it yet and uh, you can see after about 20 minutes you can see that shadowing has moved and if I have a bit of a look on the other side here you can see the shadow has now moved to the other side which means I need to chase the sun and, uh, and turn my oven a bit. So let's give it another turn. Let's get a little bit more shadow on the other side. And that's looking pretty good. I'll come back and check in probably another 20, 30 minutes. It's now 9.30 and about another half an hour has passed since last time we checked the temp. Let's see how it's going. Okay, so that's really warming up now. We are just over 100 degrees Celsius, so about probably maybe 105 there on the thermometer. So much warmer now. Now, because the sun has moved in the sky, we can see that the way the light is refracting into the solar oven is uh, not quite where I want it to be it's kind of only getting to the midpoint within the uh, oven itself so I actually need to move 
this mirror reflector upwards to try and get more light into the cooker. So let's do that now. There we go. So you can see it's kind of back towards this front area here where the mirror is instead of just kind of to the midpoint here that it was before. The other thing we need to check is the orientation. So again, let's do that check with the shading and you can see that my hand is completely in the sun now. And if I move to the other side, you can see the shadow is way over this side. So I need to spin the oven again. So let's give it another spin. You can see probably why I like this, uh, this barrel now. Uh, not quite there yet. So it still needs to go a little bit further. Here we go. Probably gone too far now. There we go. Actually, that's uh, not too bad. As I said, you want a little bit of the shadow on this side so that uh, as the sun keeps moving, it will uh, still remain in the sun for a while longer and you won't have to do those incremental movements. So it's been 45 minutes now since our last check. Let's see how the temperature's going. So it is now sitting on a hundred and twenty. 20 degrees Celsius and it's been probably about an hour and a half to get up to this temperature it's still quite early in the day so it's about 10 30 now so it's been going for about an hour and a half and uh, again if we just kind of check the orientation I can see we need to give it a bit of a move again let's do another adjustment oh, quite a bit of an adjustment this time there we go and uh, again, we just need to move our mirror. Let's zoom out a little bit here. Again. And get that oriented so that our light is once again kind of angling towards that front mirror. There we go. Much better. Let's see how the temp is in about another half hour. It's now 10 to 11. And pay no mind to the time on the... Uh, weather dial here because that's not quite right but uh, what is right is the indoor and outdoor temperature so outside it's now 14.1 let's go do the final check on the temperature in the sun okay sun oven so the temperature is now sitting at 130 degrees celsius so uh yeah not too bad considering how long we've had this going out here and the fact that it's only 14 degrees out here Hopefully you found this little video useful in terms of getting a bit of an understanding on the temperatures and how long everything takes to warm up. Again, remember this is with it empty. It does perform a bit different when it has contents inside and I might do another video that uh, shows that. So if you're interested in this sort of thing, do have a look at some of the other videos we've got and look out for future videos where we'll also be cooking lots of different stuff in the solar cooker as well. Thanks for joining.